Artem provides special effects of all sorts, from explosions all the way through to big, uh, expensive models. So we get involved in all sorts of technology, and the most recent and newest technologies that we've been involved with are the robot and all this uh, 3D printing side. So much more is done on a computer now than it was ever done in the past, where it used to be a very much hand skill based uh, industry. One of the challenges is that we're dealing with clients who aren't necessarily that sure what they want. And so you have to tell them what you think they want and get them to approve things. So one big thing is if we can do that on a computer and send them a drawing which is rendered, then you know, they can go, oh yeah, yeah, that is it, that's it, yeah. And then we can sort of forget about that and carry on with the process. Well, Delcam um, has become uh, you know, an integral part of the, of the pipeline. And Maya was before that in, in terms of dealing with 3D images and trying to render things to give us an interesting visual um, to, sh to show to a client. Uh, and it's getting the client to approve things, as I say, which is really critical. Well, here at Arte, my, um basically, Andy will get in a model from TurboSquid, say, and then my main job is just to uh, to pose the figure and then I'll, I'll sit down with the sculptor and um, we'll tweak everything and get it all in the right positions. Uh, importing a, a rigged model on Maya is a massive advantage because uh, basically it just comes with all these handles and Maya's all set up, ready to use and I can just grab them and just pose, depending on the model, just pose every every little bit of the model and it's all very easy to use. It is just massively advantageous. So we start with the photograph, then they give us a, we open up a Maya uh, rigged model that's going to be posi positioned to look like the photograph that they, uh, the client wanted. Then we're gonna export the model again, like I said, from Maya into uh, another software, a sculpting package, that's going to allow us to fine tune the model, add on the clothing, uh, change the muscles, to give the look that they want for the uh, triathlete in this case. Um, and once we're approved on that, then we can start chopping the pieces up and put them into Delcam to be put onto the robot for cutting. Well, once the model's been finalised, uh, it's output as an STL file, which we then input into Power Mill Robot. Uh, from then, we create roughing and finishing passes which are then uh, put into the robot interface, which we can now run a, a simulation to see how it machines cuts, and that will be then uh, output as G-code, which will be sent to the Cooper robot for machining. Because we're using STLs, um, creating boundaries is very important uh, to be able to get to certain areas of the model, so that's very useful. Um, being able to use uh, view mill to see how it's going to cut the, the material and, and the finish we're going to get and uh, the robot interface, just purely being able to see how the robot reacts in the cell and, and make sure it's not going to do something you know, silly or it's going to crash into the table or the work is very useful as well. What the robot gives us is the ability to uh, machine very large pieces and not have to break them down into really small pieces, so keep them in just uh, as few or many pieces as possible to assemble later. I see a really bright future in terms of uh, doing the robot and the software that we're now running. We're delighted with it. We're going to try and extend that to the other machines now. For me, it's very easy to use and it's a no-brainer. I mean, I'd use it any time. It's, uh, it's very good at what it does.